so we have two examples here so in first case we have something which have inertia in the body okay and in this second example in which i am saying if some person is some person fell from the terrace so in that case we have a stationary object it could be the um, you can say just land okay and it could be some um, rock or any hard object which is stationary okay so here i am trying to explain a sort of like some sort of physics you can say so this is the stationary object in the second case okay so we have a stationary object which is which against the victim okay because victim is falling from the terrace so it is against the victim or it could be the combination of both okay it could be the moving uh, body with inertia or it could be the stationary object so it 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 can be combined due to the impact between the forward moving force and the counter force energy is transferred to the tissue of the body okay so in all that course you can see that the energy is transferring to the tissues and we all know that we have basic building blocks of cells and then similar type of cells will combine and will make tissues okay and these tissues will do the same work right same type of cells make some type of tissues and that specific same types of tissue will make some specific type of organs so that's how we make the flow chart right cells and then tissues and then we have organs and then we have organ system okay then we have organ system so here the force you can say the force is transferred to the tissue of the body which change which causes a change which causes a change in their state of the rest or motion so if the all energy is transferred to a particular tissue so there will be some change in the natural continuity of the tissue or cell and here we can say that this is an injury or this is some sort of wound causation of wounds and this is the basic principle behind this the human body contains many complex tissues which greatly vary in their physical properties right so we have many different types of complex tissues right we have different types of tissues which makes our outer skin we we have different types of tissues which makes our different organs so we can say our stomach is made up of some specific sort of tissues and our heart is made up of cardiac tissues which is special type of tissues which is only pre present in the heart and we have some specific type of tissue which follows some um, you can say which follow some specific path or um, you can say they have different workflow so we have different and complex tissues which varies with the physical property okay such a state of solidity and fluidity and density and elasticity and because of the change in the state of the rest or motion so why it is changing because of the transfer of the force of the body which produced by a forceful impact does not affect the tissue does does not affect the tissue uniformity so if the force is not enough to make discontinuity then there will be no harm to the tissue or uniformity of the tissue but if the um, energy or if the power is more then the continuity of the tissue will be disturbed and as soon as we see the disturbance in continuity of the tissue we can say that here we have an injury or wound okay okay now some of the energy is spent to the moving uh, moving the body as a whole but most of the energy may cause a non uniform motion it will cause a non uniform motion of localized part of the body due to which the affected tissue will be subjected to compression or to traction strains or a combination of both so in a simple words as i already said that if the energy is transferred to the tissue and if that energy is uh, more as compared to the elasticity of that tissue then there will be an uh, there, there will be some discontinuity and here we like in that and that moment we can see the injury all the body tissues except those which contain gas 
are resistant to compression okay so other body tissues which contains gas are resistant to comparison so what does that mean so we breathe right okay so we have some specific types of tissues in our lungs okay and if we see the um structure of lungs we have small we can say branch like a uh, cauliflower or like broccoli we have uh packets where we where we exchange the gases right we take oxygen and we like replace replace it with carbon dioxide so this transfer happens in the alveoles and these alveoles look exactly like broccoli and this like that particular organ is made up of some tissues and that contains gas right i'm talking about oxygen and i'm talking about carbon dioxide so if i am talking about gases then those type of tissue will have sort of a uh, property they can compress and they can like they can they have compression and they have relaxation both in that particular tissue but apart from that those tissues which do not contain gas they will be resistant to comparison means they will not be able to compress further and it will be resulting into injury so they resist force which is tending to reduce the volume mechanical force does not cause compression of the tissue but it causes their displacement and deformation really very important okay if i am talking about mechanical force so i have given two examples right so in one example i said that if some bullet uh, some bullet is there in that victim's body or some bullet hit at that person so this is the first case in in this case again mechanical force is here the bullet will come with all of its force and in the second case in which i am saying a person is so for example a person fell from the terrace so in this also we have some sort of mechanical force and in mechanical force we we do not see compression there is displaced displacement and deformation you can say and traction strains are produced to the affected tissue so all those tissues which is affected we can say displacement of tissues and deformation of tissues and both the things are really very dangerous to the victim such strains may be due to the force which is cause which causing simple elongation of tissue so the very basics of tissues and cells i will give one example so if we talk about elongated tissue so we have elongated epithelial right so in elongated epithelial these type of tissues okay uh, they may be due to the more complex mechanism such as bending torsion and shearing so these type of tissues will like will sustain these uh, minor mechanical injuries okay a shear strain is a strain which is produced in a body by the forceful alteration it is produced in a body with forceful alteration and its shape is not its volume okay so its its shape is not its volume and this is produced in the body by the forceful alteration okay in causes or tends to cause two parts of a body in contact in contact with each other to slide relatively to each other in a direction parallel to the same to their same plane of contact so if we see the pal, uh, like parallel type of injury so it causes or tend to cause two parts of a body in contact with each other so if two parts of the body are contacting each other which is relatively uh, you can say side by side they might have these type of injuries because of the great variation in the resistance of the different tissues to be uh, to be rupture with varying ease as their uh, like their properties are different as i said like different tissues will have different physical properties and of course they will have different properties so similar type of um, injury will cause different type of sorry similar type of force can cause different types of injuries to different tissues okay the soft tissues are plastic 
as such mechanical force force alters their shape which is limited by the cohesion between the tissue cell and connective to the vascular vascular tissue framework and capsules of organs soft tissues rupture when they are stretched beyond its limit and their tensile strength so if i so for example i said already that we have some tissues which have some elasticity and if the force is more than their tensile strength then we can see the rupture of tissue so most of the time it happens with soft tissues and what are soft tissues so soft tissues and soft organs are those organs we do not have control on right we cannot control these tissues to work for example you can you can you cannot control uh, your heartbeat you can control your breathing you have control on your breathing which means you can like some sort of control in your lungs but you do not have any type of control in your heart so you cannot control your heartbeat so these are the soft tissues okay so we have some so soft tissues and then we have skeletal so in skeletal we can control and in soft we do not con we cannot control okay so that's what the main mechanism is so this is the basic mechanism of uh, create like how the wound or injury creates okay it is created by like which mechanism so this is the basic basic mechanism so basically it includes force and our human body is not able to sustain the force okay all these organs and tissues are really very sensitive to force and are really very sensitive to biological things as well so we cannot control these actions and that's why we get injury and that's why we get wounds on our body so the first one the mechanical one is really very important and we have like few points in this so you can just go through these points and the basic mechanism in which the basic thing is the basic thing here is if the force or ten, the force is more than the tensile strength of the tissue then we can see creation of an injury or wound and if the tensile if the force is lesser than the tensile strength then we can uh, like we can sustain that injury we can sustain that force but if the force is more we'll be having discontinuity of the skin or tissue which like which basically conclude to the definition of injury or wound so i hope uh, everything is clear by now if you have any doubt question query you can get, you can comment that down below we can discuss that and if you want to join any of our classes you can download the application all the details are given in the description box and if you want to contact us all the contact details are again given in the description box so just go through it and if you like this video you can click the like button share it with your friends seniors and juniors and see you guys in the next class till then take care bye